listening. Damn. Olet tottunut ja pitämään näitä haastatteluja suomeksi ja myös ruotsiksi, mutta nyt mä ajattelin, että puhutaan englantia, niin sinä olet niin kuin omalla tontillasi. Kuulostaako hyvältä? Joo. So we'll switch to English. Okay, let's do that. And, and of course the first thing which I'm interested in is the Innes family in Scotland. It must be a very old family, long line of relatives. Well, um, there is an Innes clan. Okay. So there is a tartan, the material in the, in the plaid um, uh, pattern, uh, which is from the Innes clan. Um, but uh, I've never lived in Scotland, and my father has never lived in Scotland, so it's really my grandparents who were there up in Scotland, and we used to go and visit them every year. So um, my son has a kilt, the Scottish, uh, the Scottish uh, male formal dress, um, and Alex actually has one as well. Which my next question would have been about the kilt yeah, and about Alex. Yes. When Alex turned 50, my father gave his kilt to Alex um, as a 50th birthday present, and then when my son turned 18, we got him as one as well, so they both have one now. And how often does he use the kilt? In, in, in your home in Espo? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Every Sunday? No, 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 not really. How did you meet Alex, by the way? We met in Bruges, studying at the College of Europe. And what got you to notice him? I think he noticed me. He says he spoke to me on an occasion which I don't remember. But the first time I so remember... So you don't remember him meeting him in the beginning? We have a slight difference of opinion on this, but oh. yes, yeah. But the first time I, I said something to him, I wanted to say th something to him to, to get his attention. Um, and it was at one of the opening events. And he had um, spent... He did his undergraduate in the US, and he still had a bit of a US professor style of dressing. So he was wearing a bow tie. He still have his... Yeah, but he was wearing a bow tie, okay. which was perhaps not the best look. And I went up, I wanted to talk to him, I wanted to say something to him, but I was a bit sarcastic and I went up and said, oh, I like your bow tie. And I was being sarcastic, but he took me seriously and thought that so I really liked So he didn't liked understand him. the sarcasm. He didn't get the sarcasm at that point. But it was because I wanted to talk to him, so I did get his attention then. If you argue, what do you argue about? He doesn't like it when I interrupt him, and sometimes I do. Uh, and. I don't like it when he chomps on Turkish pepper or chewing gum. I can't stand the noise. So okay. that, that's the one thing that really bugs me. And if everything goes according to Alex's plans, uh, the coming next week you'll be inhabiting uh, the presidential castle in Helsinki, which is actually quite modest if you compare it with English castles. How do you feel about that? You get a small castle. <laughs> I'm, I'm not somebody who uh, feels the need to leave, live in a big, uh, extremely fancy castle, so it would be a huge privilege to be able to live in those three residences. I understood it was your idea in the beginning that he would try... Um, it was it was a joint decision. I mean, we take all decisions, you know, big decisions jointly, um, particularly when they affect the, the family. Um, but I did feel quite strongly after Putin invaded Ukraine that it would be really important to have somebody in Finland who would be very good at, um, who would be experienced uh, and who would be able to perhaps help in, in that situation. There are some topics which you can raise for discussion yeah. if you're the first lady of the nation. What, what would the topics be which you would, would be interested yeah. in talking about to people and with people? Um, I think family, the welfare of families, the well-being of families is something. Um, how to bring people together through music and sports, because I like I love both music and sports, so that's okay. something I'd be interested in. I think working with people who are excluded in some way from society, whether that's older people, people who are lonely for whatever, whether it's immigrants who've arrived, um, I'd be interested in seeing if there was something there. Um, and then something else which I think is a is a problem nowadays, and I'd like to work with is is the um, sort of domestic violence. This is the last question. What is the secret of a happy marriage? Ah, uh, trust. I think that's I think that's the most important thing, um, and listening to each other, and respecting each other. Yeah. Are you listening? Damn.